Hi, this is Kim Hilton. Thank you for joining me. It's time to step forward. Recently, in the last few days, there have been court rulings that have made it almost impossible to separate genders when going to the restroom. In fact, it's not only confused adults that are being allowed this, but children can choose which gender they want to be at that particular day, and they can go to the restroom of their choice. One may argue, what is the big deal about going in and slipping in and slipping out of a stall going to the restroom? This is the big deal. The big deal is simple. We drill into our daughters to be modest. They are to close the bathroom door to the outside world, but now we allow men into that same bathroom with them. We drill into our children, close the bedroom door when you change your clothes. Be modest. And we teach them that it's safe, if needed, to go to a restroom, that it's a place of safety within the context of entering and exiting with their same sex. Now, with these court rulings, both genders must be on guard within their own restrooms. At what point is it time to speak up? Will it be rapes of both sexes? in the bathrooms? Will it be after violent attacks or fights of self-defense in the bathroom? Have we not taught that sexual issues, sexual temptations, sexual perversions, sexual predators must be taken seriously? Do we not understand the purpose of a sex offender registry? To sit back and say, tisk tisk. And then we crawl back into our comfortable beds and we do nothing that identifies us as a supporter to this absurd legislation. It's time to step forward. I want to educate you in a simple way about sexual perversions and even healthy sexual desire. Sexual pleasure is not only a physical response, but it's also a chemical response within the brain. Most adults understand how their own private sexual pleasures, turn-ons, are specific to them. What may please one married couple may bore another, and what may interest one man may not another. Because the brain also fires chemically with the physical response, it creates a serious mechanism within the adult body. Regardless of what others think, we each have our own thoughts, physical responses, and chemical responses to our own personal sexual pleasure. Most of this, although it's private, stays within the healthy limits of normal between a husband and wife. That stays generally private with our spouses. The problem is it gets serious when it's not within the normal limits. When a man or woman finds sexual pleasure with animals, prostitutes, same-sex adults, children, mutilation, and so on, the same physical and chemical responses happen to this person as does with the healthy normal adults. Because of the powerful chemical response within the brain, it is extremely difficult, actually almost impossible, to change or cure this desire, this turn-on. This is why sexual predators are held the length of time they are in prison. This is why sexual predators are required to be on a sexual offender list. This is why sexual offenders are not allowed within certain miles of a school. This is why blurring of bathrooms is so very, very serious. It is a ticking bomb. It's time to step forward. To be forced, being forced, yes, forced, to share bathrooms with members of the opposite sex, with adults claiming identity of the sex they are not, for whatever reason they give, to be forced to show, share bathrooms with sexual predators, 
who want our children is very, very dangerous. We are past the place of discussion. We are past the place of wondering what's happening. We are past the place of writing a letter. We may actually be past the point of no return. Open your mouth and close your pocketbook. Demand laws with sound reason. Refuse, refuse to spend money at businesses forcing this lunacy. It's time to step forward. This is Kim Hilton. You can always reach me through my website at one truechurch.org. That's the number one, truechurch.org. God bless you.